The Daily Contortions. He's rushing down the block, away from Shul, dressed in black hat, black coat and pants, black socks peeking beneath lemon yellow Crocs. Yom Kippur, my daughter's eight-year-old friend Rahel informs us. You can't wear leather, you don't eat, you get the chance to become an angel. The kids are gathered around Yael's swing, whose arc's so wide you wonder if you're flying. The only grown-up I give underdogs, which means helping others to wing, as Layla says, still lacking letters. Yael, our neighbor, the spit and image of my daughter, refuses her pretzels. I don't give non-Jews pretzels, she explains, then, but I can give them to my dog. But Adele's almost Jewish, Rahel insists. Aren't you, Adele? Who among us does not want preziola, little rewards that monks would grant to children reciting Bible verses, which, read wrongly, one day would darken into crystal knocked? The little arms folded in prayer, a crucifixion treat to savor and swallow. Here, the daily contortions continue. Who can do what and who cannot, and by what law is it possible? And to sate which God hungry for our obedience. I want to shake this little angel, her flaming words expelling my daughter from the garden of her sunburned yard. I don't know what to say. But like in the dream when a door opens to another room in your house, Rahel turns and breaks her pretzel, handing the savory splinter to Adele.